Welcome, guys. All right. Now, today I want to talk about something that's very dear and personal to me, okay? This is probably the one thing that I started doing that completely changed my life, uh, doubled my income, um, got me to increase the amount of people I knew, grew my network. I mean, right now, it's it's something that I'm pretty sure in the long run is going to 10x my life. Okay? And I got the word 10x from Grand Cardone. If you ever watch that, guys, dude's crazy, nuts. But it's also amazing to watch, all right? So what I want to talk about today is your habits. Habits, 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 the power of habits, okay? How your habits are, are either a blessing or a curse to you. So before I develop good habits, I would tell you what my habits used to be. So I'd wake up in the morning, you know, stretch my arms, like the usual stuff, hit snooze on the alarm, I'm out. And I'm rings again, it's news, I'm out. All right, next thing you know, just turn off the alarm and I'm up like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, right? And then I wake up, feel grouchy and all that stuff. And then I'll continue my day, go to work, uh, do whatever it is I gotta do uh, for the day. Watch a lot of shows, watch a lot of movies. Make calls like, if I had to, and then go back to sleep and then repeat the next day. That was my life. Boring, some people was exciting. Money was good, everything was great, but I wasn't happy. I didn't have productive habits. I didn't have habits that benefited me. I didn't have habits that helped me grow, grow in any way, shape, or form. I had habits that actually, bang out, were sinking my life, sinking my income if I had continued on that track. So here's one thing I want to understand is your habits right now can either make or break your future. The habits you have at this point in time can either turn you from being a hero or can make you a zero. Some good rhymes right there. So I want to understand something, right? Today, today was yesterday's future. Whatever day you're watching this was the future that you were looking at, looking forward to yesterday or five years ago. But today was yesterday's future, right? And what the decisions and the actions you take today would determine your future tomorrow. Because the decisions and actions you took yesterday determined where you are currently today. So I want you to say, think about your life. What habits do you have at this state, current state in mind? What, what habits do you have? Are they, are they helping? Are they adding? Or are they subtracting from your life? If, if, if we're to be honest with, you, with each other, your habits are subtracting from your life. I'm willing to bet you a gift card, however much, that your habits right now are subtracting from your life. Okay? So, we're not having much. I take that back. Okay? Number is negotiable. But I want to tell you right now that your habits are subtracting from your life because if you don't have good habits because this is the way the brain works right whenever you start doing something initially right you don't know how to do it you don't like it, it you know or it's new whatever it may be eventually you get used to it and the brain makes it into a habit okay a habit basically a routine right so if you have a bad morning routine if you wake up you don't have a morning routine your day is just gonna go uphill and it's strictly immediately gonna go downhill Right, and you're, if you don't have, if your habits are watching TV, you know, you go to work nine to five, you work your nine to five, you come back on, you turn on the TV, you watch the TV, boom, eleven o'clock reaches, you go to bed, you know, nine, wake up again at whatever time, eight o'clock, boom, go to work, come back. I want you to understand that if that's the way your life is going, you are right now alive, and you are being used as a resource to achieve somebody else's goals and dreams, because in life. You can either be used as a resource to achieve someone else's goals and dreams, or you can be the resource to achieve your own goals and dreams. So if you are at this current state of mind, have you have terrible habits, you have bad habits, your habits are toxic, you know, uh, smoking is a habit, drinking is a habit, masturbating is a habit, you know, going out there flirting and hitting on sleeping with different women, it's a habit, okay? And those habits do not add to your life, they actually subtract from your life. You know, it is, it is very easy for you to say that I want to be in a better place, but it is very hard for you to take that decision to be in a better place. Because they say it takes 21 days to build a habit. I say it takes forever to build a habit because once you have a bad habit, because here's the truth about habits, a bad habit will give you an instant reward and a delayed consequence. If you started smoking today, you might calm your nerves, but 20 years down the future, you're going to have lung cancer. If you decided today that you're going to wake up very, very early in the morning, read maybe 30 minutes to an hour, or read for 30 minutes to an hour of a book, start working out every day for 30 minutes to an hour every day, meditating, doing yoga, doing all those things that add to you, I guarantee you in five years, your life is going to be completely different. I want you to think about it as it's just, it's think about it as a line. It starts this way, right? If you're not going to see 
that immediate reward. You're gonna actually pay a sacrifice. It's like a fee. You're gonna pay a fee for success because success has a fee. You know, a habit, your habits, your, in, your good habits initially come off as a fee, but on the long term, they are a drastic, tremendous reward. You know, I am where I am today because of the product of my habits. You know, because if you are in this point in time, because here's the truth, university, college, high school, it's all a joke, okay? Because they don't teach you things that you're gonna use in a long term. You just attend class, check some boxes that you attended class, do some homeworks, and next thing you know, you graduated 3.5 GPA, and you have no clue what to do once you get out. The reason why people who have lower GPA or didn't go to college and the most successful people who went to college, and not on a larger scale, is because they had more time being dealt with by life. Life was like, <laughs> It was like a, it was like a boxing match, and then they learned, man, I gotta fix my habits. I gotta get my my life straight. I gotta understand that you gotta understand. Twenty four hours in a day, it don't matter. You and Bill Gates have something in common. You both have twenty four hours in a day. The only difference is he used his time learning back when he was in school, in high school, learning about how the computer works with Paul Allen. What's it called? Yeah, it was Paul Allen, and I can't remember what it was, but he had another. There were three of them that worked together initially, one of them passed away, and they um, developed the uh, developed Microsoft, right? Steve Jobs, while everyone was busy making friends, was busy spending his time figuring out, as a introvert that he is, trying to figure out, oh, how can I, what can I do? He, he spent his days doing other things that can be productive to him. But then again, those are drastic examples because they invented things, right? But let's not talk about inventors. Let's talk about other people. Let's say, think about someone you admire in your life. One person you admire, right? How do you think they got to where they are? Do you think they just automatically woke up one day with a million dollars? No, they did. Because here's the thing, the truth about habits. If I gave you, to gave you the opportunity right now to take $3 million, I'm like, hey, you're gonna get $3 million cash right now. You probably like, yes, yes. Give me $3 million cash. I want that money right now, baby. You have that opportunity to get $3 million cash right now versus I give you a penny, one penny, that doubles every single day, all right? Not $3 million cash, but one penny that doubles every single day. I want you to do the math and I want you to comment in the comment section below what that number is if you were to take one penny that doubles in quantity every single day for the next 30 days. And tell me who's gonna have more money. The person that took $3 million out right or the person that actually took building a habit of getting that penny. That's the same way it is. Because here's the thing, if you if you made um, $10 million by the lottery versus you made $10 million as a product of your habits, guaranteed 250%, you are gonna keep your money more longer because you know through your habits, you now have a system and an ability to generate more money. So I, I, I want I want to clarify to everybody who people, everyone watching this, right? That you are a product of what you do every single day. Okay? The income that you have right now is a product of you working every single day or five days out of the week. Okay? A job is a habit. You know, being a good parent is a habit. You know, keeping your car clean is a habit. You know, being a good partner is a habit, you know? Taking a shower is a habit. Brushing your teeth is a habit. You know, um, what else is that? Everything's that. Cleaning your house is a habit. It's all a habit. So I don't want you to fall into this whole, people out there are gonna preach to you, man, and tell you, hey, dude, you know, here's how to make a million dollars in 30 days. I'm gonna tell you something, dude. Anyone who tells you you can make a million dollars in 30 days instantaneously, run. Because unless you're gonna, because even if you invented something, you still have to work with people to grow it, grow that, that, that platform or whatever it is that you invented. So I want you to just understand and the main point, I'm not going into details as to the habits that you have to, you need to have, but I want to, what I want to do is I want to create awareness that your habit is what's controlling your future. And if you want a better future, then you need to figure out that today, whatever day that it is on the calendar that you're watching this is the one day that you need to start making a change in your habits. You can love or hate this video, but I'm going to be keep it real with you. Have your good habits, but it's, it's going to take consistency and discipline to keep true habit. I wake up every day five in the morning. Tomorrow I got to be up really early. I'll be up at two thirty in the tomorrow morning, and I'm waking up because I have a two hour morning routine every single day. Anyone who knows me will tell you this: that Emmanuel sticks to his routine. I don't break it. 
that's my me time because if I'm gonna wake up the first person I want to work for I want to work for me before I work for somebody else I want to work for me okay I want to learn more okay I want to grow my life okay because if you have to become more to be able to give more it's like saying that you're gonna take a, a, a because most of you want to change the world you want to be you want to be you know this 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 hero of the universe but then what are you doing in your in, in, in behind closed doors to make you the hero of the universe huh? you want to you want to be out there giving money you know helping the poor helping the needy when you don't even have money you broke you broke it and broke so if your life right now because your income reflects your habits if you have if you're making 50k a year 60k a year 100k a year that means right now you need to fix your habits dude because I want to tell you something. Being a millionaire, you're going to become a millionaire if that's, you, if that's your goal and dream. And the average person in America makes shy of thirty to $40,000 a year. All right? If you make $30,000 a year and you work for a 40-year span, you just made $1.2 million. So the every average American who works for 40 years making that $30,000 is a millionaire. They've made a million dollars, but they don't have that million, right? I'm not saying that oh they have bad habits, but I'm saying they need to build more habits, better habits, such as learning habits that they can increase your skills so they can go out there and make more money. If it takes you 40 years to make a million dollars, what about if you did started making three hundred thousand dollars a year? I guess what all you need is four years to make one point two. So you go from forty years to four years because here's the thing: the difference between you and the person out there making a hundred million dollars is simple. They have productive habits that keep feeding your income. If you want a better partner, you need to go out there and work on your habits, work on your communication habits. Life is very simple. We just make it complicated. You want the blessings of life that you're not willing to take to pay the sacrifices? It's not a called sacrifice. It's called a fee because it's not something that you got to keep sacrificing for a long time. It's a fee. It's an entry fee. Pay that. I'm gladly. I will gladly pay the fee of a good habit because I know that it's a long-term reward. Because if I'm, if I, if my, if my, the fee I'm paying is, oh, I'm waking up early in the morning. Guess what? The body only needs about eight hours. On average, some people can function in six hours. If you structure your day where you go to bed at ten wake up at four you just got your six hours of sleep boom guess what you wake up at four you just have a head start because the average person wakes up around what give or take if nothing's going on around eight or nine a.m in the morning on a weekend um before weekend usually around 7 30 right so you have a three and a half hour head start and usually most people go to bed at around that same time you have three and a half hours extra to your day that you can spend because if you don't understand that you, you don't have that much free time in life because if you sleep just about eight hours a day you just slept for a quarter of 24 hours, right? Which means you slept for one third, my bad, one third of 24 hours, right? If you live for 90 years, you slept for one third of 90 years, you slept for 30 years. So you gotta make the decision today. Who am I gonna be? What kind of person am I gonna be? Because who you wanna be tomorrow is a result of the decisions you make today. And choose the decision to have a productive habit. That's what I got for you guys, all right? If it's your first time watching this video, and I know you like the video because I like the video because I made the video, and I'm sitting here staring at my face, so hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the like button also, okay? It's a new thing YouTube's doing where everyone got to like it. If it's your first time watching this video, feel free to hit the subscribe. Smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because guess what? I want you to be part of this. My intent is to help you grow. My intent is to take you from here, if you're here, to take you up here. My intent is to is to is to water the seed and the plant in your life so you can grow to the point in which even you are like, man, damn, damn, wham, bam, damn. And if you know somebody who might benefit from this video because they have terrible habits, I want you to go ahead and I want you to go ahead and share this video. Share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram, share it on your um, whatever device and stuff might come out in the future, you know? Just start making up names. Alright? Enjoy.